Hey, Hyperdrive, Steven's Rita here. I'm with Harrison and Matt, who were in the fan film The Ranger, which was circulating around the internet not too long ago. So, uh, let's get started. Who came up with the idea for that film? Well, that was me. Harrison helped. We went out for lunch one day, and you know, but or originally it was my idea. It was an idea that I always had, and when I wanted to make it, I wanted Harrison involved in it. I, uh, I, I make a bunch of different, you know, YouTube stuff and shorts so uh, we sat down to uh, to lunch as we do didn't we, didn't we eat all you can eat chinese food yes, we did i took them to a very classy all you can eat chinese restaurant very the way good. that's what us hollywood types do yeah <laughs> and uh and we just started talking about it and he had a great idea and uh i uh i i thought it was great and i was happy to be involved originally his part was just going to be a, a random cia agent but when he told me that him and his friends used to talk Power Rangers and they all said that he would be the blue one if you ever was a Power Ranger, I'm like, let's make you Billy's son then. We, yeah. could, we could rewrite it, you know, why not? Yeah. The actor, he, David Yost saw it and kind of tweeted about it. He goes, oh wait, did I, did I die in this? Yeah. yeah. Like, it doesn't sit with me well that, that Billy died, but maybe he comes back yeah. and maybe he does. We don't know. We actually just met him. We took a picture with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a cool guy. So it sounds like y'all were both fans of the show. So yeah. this kind of comes from that love of the show. How did you guys first watch the show? Like, what was your first memory of getting hooked on the show back in the 90s or whenever you saw it for the first time? Go ahead, you go first. Um, I first saw it, I believe, I think it was uh, it was a long time ago, and my, my mom brought me a VHS tape of one of the original Most Mighty Morphin the Power Rangers. This interview probably don't even know what VHS tapes yeah. are. And it was a VHS, the tape, it was just like one episode of the show and I would I watched it which episode it was the I forget the name of it but it was the one with that pig monster I saw that one it was food, it was fight. food fight yeah, yeah. food fight, <laughs> food fight. <laughs> my friend has that same tape and it's the yeah. only thing on the tape right doesn't, exactly yeah. doesn't Rita send the pig monster to eat all the food or yeah. something yeah. And, <laughs> and so that was the episode and that's all I had so I watched it on repeat oh, like over man. and over and over again and I knew the song and and then the movie came out and and it was, I loved it. So yeah. like, and then I was just watch it. Now it's on Netflix, which yeah. is wonderful. And I've been going back to Netflix and watching a lot of what I missed out on because there's been so many series after the original that I wanted to educate myself more on. So I've been catching up on uh, RPM and Jungle Fury and Dino Thunder and I'm probably gonna go on to Ninja Storm next. I got into Power Rangers. I was, I was older than your average Power Ranger fan when it first came out. I was like 12 or 13. But I was into martial arts at the time, and it was a martial arts sort of series that was on. And uh, I don't know, I, I came home from school and it was on, and I thought it was awesome, and I just, I got hooked. I watched, I was a fan longer than he was. You only watched Mighty Morphin, right? I only watched Mighty Morphin, I yeah. continued into the Zeo Rangers and ended at the end of Zeo Rangers. I didn't really get into Turbo, yeah. um, and then I never really got into it again. Yeah. So, yeah, the original in, into Zeo. Sounds like you're you're getting back into it, watching them on Netflix. I'd now. recommend In Space if you can get around to it. Cause I've heard that one's really good. I, I recently we watched it and the finale blew me away. I had to like kind of take a day and be like, I didn't know they could do that on this show. They went some places that I would never. If you if you didn't tell anyone that episode was about Power Rangers, they wouldn't know it until they actually morphed. It's pretty serious. Apparently, I I heard it's serious. I heard the storyline is one of the best storylines out of out of all of them, other than RPM, which is why I watched that one. What I loved about Jungle Fury, though, was it, it, it resembled like a classic kung fu film, a kung fu tale of, of animal spirits and these kung fu masters. They picked actors that you could tell legitimately were amazing martial artists. And I'd heard in, in a lot of other seasons, they didn't always, they were just actors and most of the fight scenes were done in, in uniform. So Jungle Fury is, is, is what, what do you recommend if we like series with a lot of martial arts and, and what, what else is good? I mean, most of those is, uh the Mighty Morphin Zeo, because that's when, oh man, I've only watched up through Lost Galaxy. Dino Thunder has some good on morph fights. I, don't, I wouldn't say they're big martial artists, I but... I watched some of Dino Thunder, because I heard that uh, Jason. Uh, Jason David Frank made his return, so I was curious. Yeah. I saw a couple episodes of those, some of this season. Yeah. Saw the preview for Dino Charge, that looks awesome. Yeah. I'm probably going to check that out. Nice. Rumors that uh, Austin's going to be in it, so all the more... I hope, I hope, yeah. We actually just came from uh, his line. Um, so let's bring it back to your film. Yeah. I really like the tone, because everyone's saying with this new movie coming out, 
you know, yeah, I love the show. Looking back, it's pretty cheesy. I'd like a little bit of a darker tone. Right. And I thought you guys got the right amount of that. It wasn't super gritty. Right. But it was real. You know, people have died. People are missing. There's this sense of danger. Yeah. Jason is kind of my childhood was taken from me. How did you get to that that tone and that world and that take on it? So I went really far into the spectrum. I made it really, really, really dark, and then I had to pull back because they're still Power Rangers, and we still want to maintain, you know, the brand and, and of what they are. Um, but originally when I had the idea, so in the movie, you know, there's a couple beer cans when he wakes up, but originally it was beer cans and bottles of Jack Daniels spilled all over the place, uh, uh, cigarette trays with all kinds of cigarette butts in it, pizza boxes all over the place, and then we said, okay, so that's all the way at the end of the spectrum. He's still a Power Ranger, so let's not beat him up that much. And then we, we lightened it up a little bit since then. I just had the idea of... You know, just like soldiers who go away to war and they experience horrible things, they could come back and there's certain mental anguish and, and, and serious disorders that they can go through. Why couldn't a Power Ranger, after years of fighting monsters, losing his entire uh, teenage years, do constantly doing battle? That takes an emotional toll and we wanted to explore that a little bit. Yeah, it's a take you don't really think about as a kid, but yeah, that would happen. Right? Yeah. <laughs> reality. And, you know, I also, the big thing was I wanted to create something that would resemble a feature film that I would want to watch. Yeah. If I were to go buy a ticket to go see it, that would be, the at 33 years old now, that's what I would want to watch with some of the darker tones to it. So that's why we created it. Very nice. So this show is called Power Rangers Essentials. We like to talk about the must-see episodes. What is your must-see episode of the show? Your, your favorite one or the one that blew you the way the most, the one you remember? Maybe it's the food fight one. Food fight for yeah. me. <laughs> food fight for me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the one that I remember obviously the most the, as, a, as, as a kid was when uh, it's revealed that Tommy's the White Ranger and then Kimberly faints. That kind of just blew my mind. I think every you know kid likes that a lot. I think the entire Green, the five-part episode of the Green right. Saga was really good. I really liked the one where uh, where Jason and Tommy they were duking it out. They were having trouble fighting as a team. Uh, and then they went on a mission together. Gung ho. Gung ho. Right, right, right. <laughs> Trini says, you know, you guys don't have gung ho. Yeah. And then they learn to work together. I like watching that a lot, especially because of what's going on now between the two of them. Yeah. I don't know if I'm it's, supposed to talk yeah. about it, but, uh, you know. Everyone's kind of aware of it in the back. I've, I've talked to both of them, but you know what? I'm happy to meet both of them. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm an Austin St. John guy. I love some of the comments yeah. on the boards were, oh, why not Tommy? Because there's been a lot of stuff done about Tommy, and he wasn't the original Ranger. Yeah. Austin St. John was, and I wanted it to be about him. That's kind of the the stance I took on the playground growing up. I was like, oh, this new Green Ranger guy, he's the he's the best. Uh, uh, no, this guy just showed up. This uh, Jason, Tom, uh, Austin, has, yeah. he's been here since the first day one. And yeah. I, when I, you know, when I was that age in karate class, I had the fantasies of being the Red Ranger. So. And I guess I made it happen. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, that that got me into martial arts. A lot, a lot of people here have been saying that. Yeah. I think they probably. I think JDF owns like four karate schools now. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, after that, he just it, it blew up. I mean, and I, again, that's what got me into the series. I loved the old kung fu films, and they had a lot of cool martial arts in the original one that they didn't really do in later episodes. Awesome. Now, do you guys have any plans to make a Ranger two to expand on this a little bit? Um. Originally, I really just wanted to do one and done because I think we made something awesome. You know, I mean, Harrison brought something to it that I really needed because I, I knew how I wanted to make Jason. I needed someone that was going to lighten it up and add some humor, <laughs> add random lines about light brights growing up. <laughs> we had fun with that. You guys should see, we put an outtake reel on YouTube about some of the different one-liners that he came up with. Um, and he made me break almost every single time. But we had so much fun, and, and, and so of course we could do it again, but the only way we'd be able to do it again is if we topped the first one. And how do we top the first one? We have uh, former Rangers make cameos, and we have a yeah. couple that are interested. Very nice, so... Uh, a couple that are interested, it's, it, that's what I can tell yeah. you. I did write a couple other episodes in case fans wanted it, they do. Episode two is called Yellow Jacket. Um, there's, there's, like I said, there's a couple Rangers interested in being involved. Um, but n n nothing's for sure. But we're probably going to make more because the fans seem to want it. Awesome. So if that was to happen, uh, where should our fans look to watch that? Uh, we're probably not going to go on Funny or Die anymore. Originally, I wanted to because 
I didn't want anyone to know that this was a Power Rangers film. I just wanted it to be the Ranger. And people watch on Funny and Di uh, Funny or Die, and, and and they're like, well, well, there's a joke coming, so let's just keep watching and wait for the joke. And then that's, you know, because how do you get them to watch till the end if they don't know it's a Power Rangers thing? But now that the cat's out of the bag, I think this will just live on YouTube. All right, awesome. Yeah, and if you subscribe to me, What's my name on YouTube? Matthew J55. Yeah, M A T T H E W J A Y 55. You'll be sure to see them as they come out. All right, awesome. We'll keep an eye out for those. Thanks so much for this interview, guys. Enjoy Power Morphicon. Thank you. Nice awesome. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey there, Starfighters. Thanks for watching my interview with the cast of The Ranger. They actually just released a sequel to it. The link to that is on the video and in the discussion below. It's a little different than what they talked about in the uh, interview since that was so long ago. But you should go check it out because the first one was great. The second one is funny too. And they even used my teleporting tutorial that we did uh, a year or two ago. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so click on that. Give us a thumbs up if you like this interview. Give them a thumbs up on their video. We're doing more interviews from Power Morphicon every Saturday. We still have a good amount of these left, so subscribe so you don't miss that. And then the next episode of Power Rangers Essentials on Monday. Thanks again for watching, guys. And I will see you guys on Monday. Punch it!